Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your monthly channeled messages for January 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My messages will not pertain to everybody, so leave what don't, take what does, and um, don't try to make any situation fit. So Leos, for you guys, I am so incredibly excited to bring you your channeled messages because 2018 has been one of major changes, major releases, um, letting go of things that didn't work out, um, trying to wrap your head around things and why they didn't work out, getting the strength, the courage to walk away from things that no longer served you. Um, some of you moved home. Some of you left relationships. Some of you changed jobs. Um, some of you are stuck in jobs. So it's just 2018 was a very heavy year for our Leos. But 2019 is going to be one of huge turnaround for you. Uh, when meditating on your sign and uh, channeling in messages for you guys, I did get the number one, the new beginning, the uh, releasing the old so you can start the new, and just really, really, Spirit wants you to know that you are receiving divine guidance. Um, have reassurance that you are on the path that you're meant to be on, and 2019 is going to bring you to new places, meeting new people, new experiences, new opportunities. And of course, uh, new love, new um, jobs, new places to live, new experiences. It's just going to be a beautiful, beautiful year. So have faith and um, know that what is meant for you is coming for you. And that is an amazing abundance in many areas of your life. So 2019 is going to start out kind of crazy. Um, January is a very important month for you guys. Um, it's a time of reflection. It's a time to go within. Um, and this is going to be a very, very significant time for you. Um, due to uh, your ability to manifest right now, due to this being the most fertile month of 2019 for you, it's going to be Crazy is about the only word I can think uh, to say about it. Um, lots and lots of things going on for you guys. So stay strong. Uh, make sure you're staying in your spiritual center. Make sure you're meditating, self, uh, positive affirmations and all that, that I'm sure you guys are already doing because it's about to um, speed up in a big hurry. So uh, there's, there's, There's a feeling of sadness, though, uh, sadness, loneliness, boredom. Um, there was a lot of changes in 2019. You had to release a lot of things. A lot of things released themselves from your life. Um, and so you guys are coming into the year kind of feeling bummed, kind of feeling down, um, a little bit of depression. Like I said, uh, it's going to change. It's going to get better. So as hard as it may seem, try to uh, see the positive in what change brings, try to see the positive in, uh, you allowing yourself to purge and release whatever is that's not for your greatest good. Um, for some of you, you're feeling blocked, uh, creatively in your career. Uh, it's time to release the self-limiting beliefs. It's time to release the, um, self-imposed blocks because you're self you're sabotaging your own success you're sabotaging your own creative thoughts um and it's starting to affect you mentally physically emotionally because there's a lot of um a lot of things you're telling yourself that are not true so try to uh release any self-limiting beliefs that you have from childhood or past lives that have just carried over um, because you are greater than what you are giving yourself credit for. For some of you, um, you're starting to accept the things 
uh, for what they are. You are, yeah, it seems like you're letting go of what you held on too tightly. Yeah, it's like you held on to it so tight that it snuffed the flame out before it had a chance to catch fire. Um, you're letting that go. And when you let that go, when you give it up to the universe, give it up to God, the wind's going to catch that and it's going to set fire. So um, you're doing the right thing. Just release it, let it go to whatever that is that you're holding on too tight to. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with a karmic lesson. Uh, this is a lesson that is centered around uh, feeling like you're always pressured to be more, do more, be better, do better. Um, like that feeling that you're never enough. You, you're never, the work is never good enough. The relationship is never enough. The, you're, you're feeling like you lack in uh, certain areas of your life. Um, sit with yourself, ground yourself, center yourself, release that, uh, belief that you're not good enough because that is also, um, ties back to your career as well. For those of you experiencing blocks, but this has a lot to do with just you, your life in general, everything you do, you feel like it's not good enough. I could have done better or you're apologizing. I'm sorry. That's not good enough. I could have done better, but yeah, it's perfect. Um, sit with yourself, meditate, ground yourself. Uh, think back to where that is coming from. A lot of you is coming from childhood, from parents, grandparents um, telling you, you know, well, you could have done better. You know, you got a 99% on your test. Well, you missed one, you could have done better type of energy. Uh, sit with yourself and try to think back of where that starts started from. Release it in your mind. Tell yourself, I did the best I could. I always do the best I can. And I will forever give all I can to every situation. And that is more than good enough. Tell yourself that. If you cannot think of where it came from, because in your mind, um, you need to picture whoever it is that you know, started telling you that, whether it's your parents, you know, however, um, if you can't stem it back to something, uh, there, my angels are saying to sit, you know, sit in meditation with yourself, uh, ground yourself, find your center. And when you're picturing who you're talking to, picture you talking to yourself, tell that to yourself. Um, and anyone else that told you along the way that what you're doing is not good enough because it is good enough. If you're doing the best you can, it's more than good enough. It's perfect. Um, for some of you, uh, you guys are finding emotional uh, maturity coming your way. You are being able to handle and deal with um, different emotions that you're feeling within yourself. This is uh, directly linked to the hard work that you have done. Uh, the You're figuring out how to internalize, um, to process, and to handle and deal with your emotions on a different level. Um, this is a different like spiritual level. You are ascending to a higher level of your consciousness. You're vibrating at a higher level and that emotional maturity is following. Um, for some of you, uh, you're finding a breakthrough. Um, this is a breakthrough in how you view yourself, how you view yourself. Um, how you view yourself is how others treat you. So do you, uh, value or do you view yourself as the victim or as the successor? Are you, you know, the winner or are you the loser? Like, how do you view yourself? Because how you view yourself, you portray to the world and the world in turn, uh, treats you that way. So make sure you are viewing yourself as the amazing individual souls that you are because, um, you're finding it hard dealing with people's energies that are coming back at you. Um, if you're constantly thinking that, oh, this is going to go wrong. It always does. Or, um, you know, so be cautious of what you're thinking, how you view yourself, because how you view yourself is how the world will view you back. Um, for some of you, you're redefining your expectations of self, um, which in turn redefines your whole life. Uh, you're expecting greatness out of yourself and you're going to do great. 
for some of you, you're starting a new business. This is going to be an amazing, amazing thing for you. It's something in the spiritual work. I don't know if it's like a, like a spiritual counselor or like a spiritual like leader, like you're counseling people I'm seeing. You could be like a self-help coach, a life coach, but it's going to be successful. Um, you've been scared. You've been doubting yourself. You've been worried. How, you know, what if it doesn't work? How am I going to make ends meet? Go for it. You're going to find success. Believe in your dream and your dream will come true. Um, and that is so important to some of you because the job you're going to do, the company you're opening um, is going to change lives for the better and for the spiritual world uh, as a whole. Um, for some of you, um, you need to remember that life works in cycles or like seasons. Um, you cannot begin the next cycle or the next season without the one that we're currently in finishing up. Um, some of you are trying to jump steps. And uh, if you rush it, you're going to miss it. You need to enjoy and learn from each cycle, each season that the universe um, puts us in and brings us through. And what the universe always provides for you, what you need, the universe will give you in each individual cycle. If you rush through each cycle and not uh, take the time to look around, to enjoy, to uh, be abundant in that cycle, then you're going to miss what's meant for you. When you miss what's meant for you, you have to repeat the cycle, repeat the lesson. And it's just, um, I see some of you going around and around and around in the same cycle because you're trying to jump steps. So make sure you are taking every lesson and, um, every blessing from every cycle and make sure you heal in between cycles. That's so important. Um, if you skip the healing step, you have to experience the hurt again until you learn to heal and deal. Will you finish that cycle? Um, for some of you, um, you're seeing things differently. You're getting answers to questions you don't know. Like you're, you're really confused. Like you're seeing things, you're getting synchronicities. You're seeing and hearing and feeling things that, you know that you're they're supposed to catch your attention. You know that that means something, but you don't know what. You don't know what question you ask to get that answer. You're feeling very confused by that. Um, it's okay. Just once again, uh, sit with yourself and uh, ask your angels and your higher self to show you or tell you or, you know, show you what these answers are to. What questions are these answers to? You know you're supposed to, you know you're supposed to get something out of this. You just know it, like, but you don't know what. It's all going to become clear. It's all going to, uh, it's all going to make sense by the end of January. I'll tell you that. Uh, they will make it clear to you what this all means. And it is a thing that's going to change your life for the better. Um, from some, for some of you, you're dealing with a family situation. I'm seeing um, like a clear divide between your family on one side and you on the other. You're feeling very uh, ostracized, like left out. Um, they intentionally are causing you to not know what's going on. Um, for a lot of you, it's with siblings. Some of you, it's with parents. Some of you, it's with siblings because of parents. Um, this is a very hard lesson that uh, you're trying to learn. You're not quite sure why, uh, what you did. Um, it's also going to work itself out. Unfortunately, I don't see that happening until late spring of this year. Um, so you're going to have to go through this for a couple more months, but for some of you, it's been going on for years, like five, eight, 10 years. Um, 
finally, there's going to be something that comes up that is found. Um, I don't know if like a parent passed away and they left something. Um, somehow something's going to be found and it's going to show the people that have been leaving you out or ostracizing you from the family. It's going to show them that you were telling the truth the whole time. I'm not sure what, I mean, that'll make sense to somebody out there. Um, and it's going to bring you guys back together again. Um, they will apologize. They will, um, ask for your forgiveness in this matter because they were wrong. Um, so try to hang in there. I know it's hard when you don't have your family there and you just feel alone in the world, but it is going to come to the surface what the truth really was. And it's going to work itself out. Um, for some of you, um, for some of you, I'm seeing you planting a garden. Oh, okay. So, okay. Leo's, this is a very important message. Okay. So January is a very fertile time for you. Very fertile. Um, many of you plant your seeds of intention. You go in feeling all excited. You know, it's, it's going to work. It's going to happen. It's going to, it's just gonna. And then, um, you have trouble with the cultivation process. You have trouble believing in that flower, that plant that you planted from the time that you plant it until the time that you can see physical evidence that you planted something. So in that time where it's growing its roots, where it's gaining strength, where it is um, taking the steps needed to take to be solid, to be firm in the ground, to not go anywhere in a strong gust of wind or when somebody tries to rip it out of the ground. In that time process, you guys are giving up on your dreams. You're giving up on your garden and you're walking away, allowing it to be left to the weeds, allowing it to get overgrown and snubbed out by the weeds, the naysayers um, of the world. It's yeah. Don't quit tending to it. You have to be the one that weeds that garden every day. You have to be the one that waters that dream. You have to be the one that cheers it along when no one else can see what it is that you're working on. When no one else can see the physical evidence of it, you have to be the one that's wishing it, willing it, taking care of it, weeding it, and keeping the enemies at bay, keeping the rabbits from eating the leaves off, keeping the, uh, you know, the kid from pulling it out of the ground. Whatever it is, you need to protect that, uh, that garden. You need to plant your seeds of intention, and then you need to guard it, protect it, weed it, water it, let it grow. Let the, the roots take, um, take hold of the ground, planting it with a firm foundation, solid foundation in the dirt so that it can grow into the beautiful dream that you envision. So it can grow into that thing, that dream that you have hoped for, worked so hard for, because in the time of you planting your seeds of, um, intention to the physical manifestation a lot of you are giving up. You're walking away. You're, um, you're not letting it take root and grow. So if you guys, I'm telling you, this is a huge, huge spiritual awakening this month for you guys. And your roots need to be strong. You need to be confident in your dream. You need to be confident in what your intentions are. And um, rise above. You guys, uh, yeah, this is a karmically huge time for you guys. Whatever you plant, whatever you uh, cultivate in January, you are going to be able to harvest huge rewards. I'm saying huge. Abundance in all areas. Um, January is so important with this fertile time. Take advantage of it. Don't give up hope. Don't 
Like I'm seeing huge things for you guys. Like I'm like panicky almost trying to talk you guys into not giving up because this is life changing, life changing in your careers, your relationships, family, friends, your, just your happiness. You're going to finally see what you have worked so hard for grow into something huge, something solid, something grounded, something real, something abundant, financially, emotionally, spiritually. And it's going to take you to places you've never been before. And it's going to bring so much opportunity to your life. So please plant your intentions now, <laughs> right now. And um, with the full moon, and I think that's the 21st this month, release, read it, burn it, and release it to the universe and watch your dreams manifest. Don't give up on them. Believe them. Believe, act like they're already here. Um, just put a fence around that garden and keep everybody else out. Um, yeah. You guys... Um, Wow. Yeah, whatever you guys do now, it's going to become so powerful in the future. I just seen the most amazing, amazing thing. So what you start is going to become massive very fast. Like it took my breath away. So it don't matter how extreme, how extravagant, how out of this world that your intention is with your life, set those intentions and start the work. No matter how small the steps are that you take towards it, it is going to manifest into something huge and massive. Make things very clear. Make the universe very clear on what you want, what you're um, wanting to create and watch it grow. You won't be sorry. Um, for some of you, you guys are dealing with uh, somebody who's very low vibration, somebody who's not there for your greatest good. You guys are taking the higher road. You are uh, moving on, letting go, um, and no longer dealing with this energy. That is exactly what you need to do. This person is not there for the right reasons. For some of you, um, things are not going as planned and you're feeling a lot of uh, disappointment. Um, a lot, you're starting to feel hopeless. Let that go because rejection is God's protection. If it is not going as planned, it was not meant to be right now. And it is protecting you from something negative that would have brought been brought by that situation happening in the time you wanted it to happen, um, how you wanted it to happen. Your angels, your guides, they are all here leading you in the path that you're meant to, um, bringing you into situations, taking you out of situations that protect you. So if things are not going as planned right now, try to release that disappointment and know that it will happen down the road in its time that it's meant to and that it didn't happen then because God was protecting you from something negative. Um, what's meant for you will come for you in the right time. So keep the faith. Um, for some of you, um, <clears throat> you're going to have challenges with somebody uh, these challenges being brought in for you, uh, in regards to this person, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is it's going to open up your eyes and make things very clear on what direction you have to go. Um, <clears throat> in regards to this person, in regards to the situation, um, and some, for some of you, this is a love relationship. For some of you, this is a colleague work partner, something, a challenge is going to be faced you are going to have to face a challenge with this person. The result is going to open your eyes to which direction this is going to go. So go with the flow. Don't fight whatever comes towards you. Um, it's what's meant to be. For some of you, uh, January 11th through the 13th is going to be very important for you. You're going to meet somebody new. This is a new connection. This connection is coming in for something really important. Uh, this is um, somebody that is fated to come into your life. Uh, this is part of your destiny. They're destined to, to enter your life. Uh, 
yeah, this, uh, this special person that's coming in for you is going to, uh, it's going to change your life. This is going to turn into a very special person. Yeah, this is going to bring, bring big changes for you for the positive. Uh, it may not be in January. You are meeting this person between those dates. It may not be in January that this huge change comes, but it is going to happen um, for mo most of you, February and March. Um, and it's going to bring an amazing change to your life, possible change of location, um, and much happiness to follow. Uh, for some of you, around the 18th, you're feeling discouraged with an outcome of a situation. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be discouraged. They're telling you to really be cautious of how you're looking at this. If it, you're looking at it in a negative way, change your percept perception. Look at it from a different angle. When you consciously choose to look at it from a different side, a different angle, around the 18th, 19th, um, when you change your perspective, you're going to see it from a different point of view. When you point it, look at it at a different point of view, it's going to show you a huge answer to a question that you have been racking your brain about from early 2018. This is like January, February, March, early 2018. You have been trying to figure something out, trying to find the answer to something. When this situation that brings you disappointment on the 18th or 19th, and you consciously are like, no, you're disappointed, Consciously make yourself look at it from a different angle. When you think about it from a different angle, an aha moment is going to happen and it is instantly going to give you the answer you've been searching for for the last year. Very important. It's then going to turn your focus. Your focus is then going to be turned and you are not going to miss the opportunity that's going to come in for you. If you would have continued to look at this as a disappointment, and not look any further, you would miss this opportunity. So change your perspective, look at it from a different view. That aha moment is gonna come in. It's going to cause you to get the answer from a question you have been asking yourself for the last year, and bam, opportunity is going to hit you in the face. You're not gonna be able to miss it. And this opportunity is huge for those of you who this message is for. Um, yeah, and an idea is going to flow in and it's, yeah, it's just, it's going to change everything for the better. Uh, for some of you, you have love coming in late in the month. Um, don't put your wallet too high that you block out uh, new people. Some of you got out of a relationship in 2018 and you're not really sure if you're ready yet. Um, somebody is going to approach you. Um, and it's going to blossom into a beautiful love relationship. Uh, if they ask you for coffee, take them up on it. Uh, it doesn't have to go any further from there, but you're going to be pleasantly surprised that uh, you are attracted to this person uh, mentally, physically, emotionally. It's going to turn into a life partner for a lot of you at the end of the month. Um, some of you have a choice in love. Don't ignore your intuition. Don't ignore what your heart and your, your inner voice, your gut is telling you. Uh, it never lies to you. Um, your ego sometimes gets in the way. So uh, don't let your head talk your heart into something that's not there just because you want it to be, okay? Um, make the choice that is truly from your heart, truly what you desire. You may end up hurting some people you love, um, but in the end, you have to do what's best for you. You have to follow your own heart uh, because those people aren't going to consult you when they're making life changes for one, life choices. But for two, uh, this is what's meant for you. This is a destiny. This is your destined partner. This is your divine partner. Um, don't let it go because you're trying to make everyone else happy. Make the choice that your heart is led to take and it's going to be a beautiful relationship. And there's going to be some work along the way, but as we know, divine relationships, uh, there's work in every relationship, but the reward will be well worth it. Um, and the people that truly love you 
will understand that you had to do what's best for you and, and go with uh, what you felt was best. For some of you, you're dealing with a fire sign. There is a need to take things slow. Uh, don't rush this connection. Yeah, don't rush this connection. Um, you're both one, you know, I mean, you're both fire. You're both going to want to be like, yeah, let's go. Um, but when you rush and don't take the time to cultivate the relationship, it could end on a uh, sour note. If you take your time, do not rush this relationship. This is somebody completely new. Um, get to know each other first. And um, this relationship is going to be very successful. But you got to take the time to lay the groundwork before uh, you can build a house on it. So don't rush this too fast. Don't let lust get you caught up in the uh, in all the passion. Because if you take your time and you guys uh, nurture this relationship in a healthy way, it is going to find much success. For some of you, um, you are realizing you hold the key to your own future. You hold the key to your success. Um, you're finding the determination to move forward. You're finding a new passion to go after your goals. You're moving mountains to make your dreams come true. And um, you are getting amazing results. Uh, my angel's advice to you is to fake it until you make it. You're going to have an idea in like whether it's work or like an invention or something, you're going to have an idea. You have to believe in that idea. You have to know that idea works. You have to be 120% behind that idea and it's going to find success. And when you find all this success, you're going to take a step back and be like, holy shit, I didn't know if it was actually going to work. Like it just worked like kind of feeling. Um, Go in there with confidence, believe in yourself. Like I said, fake it till you make it um, and try to keep your shock in check when it actually um, becomes this huge thing that it's going to become because people are going to believe in your belief. So if you believe in your product, your idea, your company, everyone else is going to follow you. If you go in on tippy toes, not sure, it, you know, it could go either way, guys, like then nobody's going to believe in your idea and it's not going to get off the ground, but you're going to, uh, you're going to make it happen and you're going to reach your goals. So water that garden. Once again, for some of you, um, mid July, you are having finding the, you're having an epiphany an aha moment. And all of a sudden you're going to feel this rush, this urgency to um, contact a love of your past. This is somebody that you possibly ghosted. Um, you are the twin that was the runner. Um, you are going to reach out to the twin. Um, you have been uh, holding off out of fear of how they'll react, out of fear of how they'll receive you. Um, you are reaching out to them, um, ex um, apologizing for walking away from them, apologizing for ghosting them. They're going to receive this well. Um, just be honest and um, speak from the heart and it will go into the next uh, phase of the journey. Um, you, you are seeing things the way that you are meant to um, and you're going to get this rush of moving forward because your twin is starting to move on and move forward so um, reach out to them, just speak with truth, speak from the heart, and it will move forward in the way it's meant to. For some of you, you are in separation from a soulmate. You have not heard from this person in seven to 10 plus years. This is somebody uh, that you have been um, secretly holding out hope for, secretly holding on to. They have been doing the same. They are finally um, reaching uh spot in their life where they feel comfortable and reaching out to you. Uh, and you will be hearing from them the end of January. Uh, for those of you who are in the twin flame journey, who um, are what you could call the chaser, 
um, you have been in separation from this person for anywhere from six months to three years, uh, your person is going to reach out to you as well. And this is pretty well half and half down the middle. Half of them are ready to move into the next step. Half of them are going to pop in, uh, catch up with you, and then uh, pop back out. So um, just know if you are in the group that they um, go back or you know leave again, this is part of their journey um, to continue to believe in the connection. There is something that is pulling them back. Uh, they missed a step. You know how I was talking about the seasons and the cycles with you guys. They missed a step in their cycle that needs to be finished before they can end a huge life cycle. They are not going back to anybody else. Even if they go back to somebody else, they are only being brought back there to finish out this karmic cycle, to end things the way they needed to end. They will be returning within the next, you know, within weeks, they will be back, but they have to take care of whatever step they missed in that cycle and they have to end it properly before they can move forward. So have no fear. They are returning back to you. For those of you who, uh, the half of you that they are coming back and ready, um, you guys are going to move forward very quickly. And I do see this group of you, uh, an engagement by July of 2019. For those of you uh, who are waking up every night at 3.33, um, you are being encouraged, uh, if not, you know, every night, four to five nights a week, if you're waking up at 3.33 a.m., this is your angels um, trying to contact you, trying to wake you up a little. Um, you're being um, called to or encouraged to, uh, in meditation, ask your angels to um, open you up allow you to channel in their energy um, to bring them messages, to hear your higher self, source, and your angels, and to protect you from any lower level entities or negative energy from entering your space. And you're going to be able to begin mess receiving messages from your angels in meditation um, through synchronicities. Uh, you are awakening. You are um, will be ascending to a higher level of your consciousness connecting to your angels, getting closer to source, and um, really opening up a beautiful uh, new chapter of your life. For those of you, excuse me, for those of you who are having trouble with like uh, your lower legs, um, I'm seeing like, uh, like pain in your lower legs. You're I'm not sure what I'm being shown. Okay, just forget that because I don't like to do medical advice anyways. I'm no doctor. Um, I, I'm still not sure why I'm seeing that, but. Yeah, I don't know. I apologize for that. For that uh, stare off I just had. Um. For those of you who are dealing with uh, family members who are very pushy, very bossy, um, you're being encouraged to stand up for yourself. You're being encouraged to uh, stand your ground and remind them politely of how you are going to continue living your life the way that you are being called to live it. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's path is different. Uh, unique because you're the only one that walks it. So um, remind them that it's your path, your journey, and you will walk it the way that you would like because some of your decisions are based off of what your family members um, are pushing you to do. And, um, and you're missing opportunities to um, experience life on your, on your own terms. So if that you're being called to do that, make sure you're, um, you're, voicing your opinion and letting them know pretty much putting them in their place is a nice is the not so nice way to put it um for those of you who are um recently broke up with somebody somebody just ghosted you in the last couple weeks uh keep the faith can uh heal ask your angels for healing light um 
because you're going through a very hard time, you're, you're uh, experiencing depression, um, know that they ghosted you only because they had something they had to do, uh, they had to finish, they had to work on before it was right for the two of you to be together. This is a twin. Um, if I'm talking to you, the last two week, two to four weeks, they just ghosted you. Um, that it's part of the journey. They had to go. The universe was not ready for the two of you to be back together. Um, and also you're having a block in your uh, root chakra and your throat chakra. So you could be experiencing like cold symptoms, uh, you know, so um, when you're in meditation, ask your angels to send you healing, love and light and visualize the white light from the uh, from the universe flowing through your body, clearing out those chakras because um, there are some blockages there. Uh, so in your root chakra, you have some blockages from your childhood. Um, there's some childhood hurts that you need to release. Um, just ask your angels to release any childhood um, hurts that you've experienced in this lifetime and lifetimes from the past. And um, it's going to take, you know, a couple of times of doing that, but you will start to uh, clear up that root chakra. Um, so yeah, if in the last month you've had a twin ghost, you work on those, those two chakras, clearing them out, ask your angels for help. They're always here to help you. You just need to ask. They will not step in without your permission. For those of you who are single and looking for love, uh, a large group of Leos, you're going to, uh, be together with somebody by Valentine's day. These are life partners. Um, for some of you, they're soulmates, not life partners, but you're going to have a beautiful relationship. Um, no matter what, it will end in a positive note. So don't fear, don't fear love, uh, allow love in, allow yourself to experience it, allow yourself to feel it. So then you can return it, um, in the process and your life will become so, so much, um, lighter. You guys feel very heavy. Your energy feels very heavy and sad. Um, and 2018 was a rough year for you guys. So, um, that is all the messages I have for you guys. The main, uh, this is probably the most important Zodiacs channeled messages I have for this month by far. Plant your seeds of intention, whether it be with a relationship, um, your career, your family, friends, uh, whatever it is, your soul's purpose, whatever it is, plant your seeds of intention, believe them, water them with positive affirmations, um, feel how it feels to have them because January, your seeds are going to cultivate, they're going to grow and your harvest is going to be out of this world. Fantastic. So don't give up your dreams. If you don't have a dream, if you don't know your dream yet, dream it up because you can create whatever you want this month. You guys are manifesting marvels this, this month. So let go and release um, the negative energy of 2018 come into January, 2019 with a newfound hope, newfound faith in your future, because if you don't believe it, nobody will. So believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, believe in what you want, believe in your love. And, um, you're going to have big things coming for you. I can't wait to, uh, in February, read your guys' comments on how, uh, January was amazing for you guys because I just know it's going to be great. So also leave me comments below. If any of this resonated, the more you guys leave comments on my videos, the energy, the more energy I pick up, because as I read your guys's comments, I, I can pick up your energy. I can, you know, feel you guys. So, um, that way I can pick up on more channeled messages for you guys in the future. So Leo's don't give up hope. Um, I just absolutely love, um, all the Leos in my life. You guys are amazing people have confidence, have the faith and, um, never lose hope because great things are coming for you. No matter how young or old you are, 2019 is going to be your guys's year. I send you all healing, love, light, and God bless.